So now that we have a basic understanding of a React application, let's now create our first component. But before I create any components, you need to know that a React application is nothing but a group of components. So in a typical web application, you will have uh, maybe a header, a footer, uh, images, videos, um, maybe a sidebar. All of these elements can be uh, represented by a component. And um, let's create our first component. For example, suppose that you want to create a button. In order to create a button component, you need to open your source. And in the source, you can create a new file and then you need to name it the um, meanings, uh, something meaningful. So a button component uh, can be named my button or button. I'm going to name it button.js. And then in the button.js, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to copy the code from the app.js. I'm going to copy the complete code. And in the button.js, I'm going to paste the code. And I'm going to change what needs to be changed. Obviously, the name of the function must match the name of the file. So the name of the file is button.js. The function must be named button.js. And in the button, we need to export default button. But button, not uh, not app. We need to export the file, the function that we have created here. And uh, what we need to do here is that we need to remove all of this HTML code because here we aren't going to return this page. Instead, we are going to return a button because this is a button component. So in, the, in this dev, I'm going to create a, a simple button element, sim simple uh, button HTML tag here. And I'm going to say uh, custom button, custom button. And that's it. Now we have created a component. But if you go to the browser, nothing will be displayed here. No button will be displayed here. Why? Because we have created the component, but we did not tell React to display this component. How can we tell React to display this component? Well, in the index.js, instead of displaying the app, we can we can remove this app and display the button button and that's it but still this is not going to work if you go to the browser nothing will be displayed why because we need to import the button class the button file here import import button from from this directory and then button without the extension, without .js, only button. And um, JavaScript will automatically uh, know that it's .js. Now if I save and go to the browser, guess what? The difference is that the button will be now will be displayed. As you can see, got custom button. So this is how you can create your first component in React. And by the way, components, as I told you earlier, work together. So you can have this button component inside the app uh, component. So if you remove the button from here and display the app, if you display the app again, you can display the button inside the app itself. So here, just below this A tag, I'm gonna here display the button component. And of course, I'm gonna import it here, import button from the same directory and then button. This is going to take the button and display it inside the app component. Now in the browser you should find that we have here a button as you can see this is the button that we have created. So components can be uh, displayed together, can uh, be together or they can be displayed separately, can be added separately. But in typical uh, React applications, we usually uh, use uh, components with um, in a in a big component, and we display smaller components inside that big component. In our application here, we have this app as the biggest component, 
and inside it we have many uh, tags and among these tags we have the button component which displays this button 